Hey. It looks like a lot of Linux gamers have been banned on Apex Legends for the last like two or three days. And man, like, it does not look good at all. Let's get into it. Hello, I'm Airmax. And before we get really deep into it, I think we should start from the beginning for the people who just arrived here and don't really know what I'm going to be talking about. If you don't know it yet, Apex Legends run perfectly well on Linux. Like it has been running well since March 2022. And, you know, when Forbes start to talk about it, you know, it's validated, it's real. It's not like, you know, some guy who tried to trick the system and was able to run Apex Legends on the machine. And, and most of the reason, like it's, it's working, it's, it's because of the, the Steam Deck effect, right? They launched like Valve software, launched this new hardware, piece of hardware, which run on Linux. And they have been working really hard to, to make a lot of games available on their library, library compatible with Linux. And because it's open source, well, every Linux user can, can take advantage of it. So personally, like I've been running the game since, since day one and I had no issue at all. And I also made like a gameplay and optimization video. If you want to look at them, uh, they are more than welcome. They, they will be like around on the channel. <laughs> and uh, I would say like overall, like the game is, is running well, really, really well. And if not better than, than Windows in certain specific case, it, it, it's just like from, from my perspective, uh, understanding the world of Linux like a, a little bit is just crazy to think that you know EAC uh, is 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 actually working on Linux because it's a, an anti cheat. Okay, it's easy anti cheat, and um, it's pretty invasive, and it's still working. But <laughs> there is a trick since the beginning of. This week, a lot of players have been banned and nobody knows why. Steam Deck players watch out. Linux app exclusion players suddenly receiving ban emails up to 48 hours after. A lot of other threads uh, started to pop up all over internet. And I will save you some time uh, by giving you a short analysis on what actually I think is going on. From my little investigation from all those posts, it seems that most of the people who got banned seems legit. So obviously, like I'm not behind their computer to check uh, <laughs> whatever happened there. It it feel it it feels like if they were cheater, it would be really unlikely that they will act like that. Okay, uh, let me explain. Like, wh why would you use your main account with, you know, all those battle pass, all the money you threw into the game with the uh, hell room you bought to get banned, like, randomly, right? Like, it, it would be stupid. If I was a cheater, I would just get a new account. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. And also, like, if, if you are actually cheating, would you go on EA, Electronic Arts Forum, and post a thread about you getting false ban and then having like a, a huge amount of like over like user using the same platform as you um, explaining they had exactly the same action getting you know like through at them like getting banned in this in the same day right and if you see like the there is a lot of people complaining there you see, I'm, I'm just running it right now. An hour ago, same thing happened to me. Arch Linux, ProtonG49. I saw the post on Reddit about ban. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I, I think it's really unlikely that we had that many cheaters using Linux getting caught and, and going on EA forum. Now, for me, it's, it's just an error from EA flagging something specific related to Linux. However... I felt like I needed to understand a little bit more. So I went through all those posts I was showing you and I tried to get some type of pattern related to the ban. So my first thought was like, 
there is maybe something related to the Steam Deck. So I try to find specific like user getting banned on on the Steam Deck only. And let me show you. Is there is not that much. Like the thread is small. There is one guy uh, who says like he played the game on his on his desktop too. So he's like switching between his Steam Deck and his his desktop. So I'm not I'm not really sure that it's a Steam Deck related issue. Like the ban could have been issued from his desktop. So obviously he's using a Steam Deck, but there is no like direct correlation here. So the second fault was related to the driver. Maybe, you know, it's a driver issue, some type of update, which was pushed like two or three days ago. And I dig there and I found like players who are using both of the hardware. So it's not, it's not a graphic card manufacturer or driver related issue. So third, I also dig into, uh, you know, the Proton layer used. Because some of us use Proton GE, uh, some specific like proton like compiled like the one i use from from tkg I actually like uh, uh encourage you to, to try this one if you really want to put your hand into into it um but you know if if it's only like proton ge that cause the, the the issue or proton experimental like we will see a pattern and i dig into the number and and the post and there is nothing like Nothing related to only people using Proton GE or Experimental. Um, it, it's not related to the version of Proton user used. So it, it's not that too. Uh, then I found it could be related to the third party application. You know, I made a, <laughs> a tutorial for using Latency Flex and I was like, darn, I hope it's not that. But nope. Uh, it's nothing related to the application we use to optimize the game under Linux. Uh, you know, I mentioned Latency Flex, but it could be like VK Basalt or Mango Hut, for example. And guess what? Like some user got banned, got banned without using any of those third-party applications. So it's it's not that direction too. And to be fair, like it's it's really hard for anyone except the day from Electronic Arts to know exactly what is the reason behind those bans. Uh, you know, it could be a simple error on their part or something that we use that is just has been like flagged as shit on their end. But at this point in time, like uh, I, I, I'm telling you, like I'm not going to play the game because. It's 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 too risky. My account has like four or five end room, and this is not a flex. I spend a lot of time and money on this game, and I don't feel like running after Electronic Arts to get my account unbanned. So if you look at the Electronic Arts forum, the first post was on Sunday, which is like three days ago. Okay, and they had the first you know, member of the electronic arts, like staff, jump into it, like official guy, jump into it. Um, I don't know, like maybe like 12 hours ago. So just for them to acknowledge the problem and the issue was like a solid, like I would say like two days or three days. And now they are acknowledging it. It is going to take a lot of time to, to go into the number and you know start to dig into it like to be fair nobody knows how long it's going to take them to, to find the issue and solve it but it could be hours it could be it could be months right my take is like I'm, I'm i'm not risking it okay i might still get banned to be fair because i played six hours i think on monday and two more hours yesterday so finger crossed for me <laughs> and all of you guys who play the game the last two days. But hopefully we're going to get through that. But there is a high chance we're going to get caught. Like if it's, you know, related to Linux. If you have, played, if you have been played on Linux, uh, it, it could happen. So 
yeah, I, I'm, I'm just not risking it. So guys, what, what are your thoughts about it? What are you going to do? Are you going to risk it or just pass like I did? Um, I want to hear about it. Don't forget to, you know, give me a comment and tell me what are your thoughts about the whole issue. I hope I helped a little bit and I warned you and, you know, avoid you getting banned. I don't know. Just let me know if you are brave, brave enough to, to go through that. I, I made a tutorial on latency flex. Maybe you're brave enough to, to go into it and, and check about it, but I don't know. So guys, let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to drop a like, a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, until then, uh, I wish you good luck on Apex Legends. I will certainly make a post on Discord or on Twitter when it's resolved. To, to let you know what, what is the outcome of this whole mess. But until then, I wish you to have a, a great rest of your day. And bisous, bisous. Take care, guys. Oh man, I really hope it's going to be solved. That's, that's a tough one. <laughs>